Helen, firstly, many congratulations <laughs> on your, your recent new arrival, but what's it like to be now back with the squad? Yeah, it's great. I really missed it when I was obviously pregnant with Charlie, but, um, you know, it's nice to be involved on this camp. You know, how much playing time and things like that and training time I can get is is up for question. But, um, no, it's good to be back around the group and, and amongst the girls. It's really enjoyable. Is it an easy transition, sort of having, sort of just coming from giving birth and then coming straight back into that, that sporting environment? No, not at all. Uh, it's just over six weeks since I had him, so it's quite a quick turnaround. But, you know, I tried to keep myself fit and healthy in the gym right up till about a month before I had him. Um, and then, yeah, I've just been working with Beth and, and the physios and medical team just to make sure that I'm not doing too much too soon. Um, it's nice to come away and get a bit more sleep of a night. Uh, not... It's not, I'm not used to having nights where I don't have to get up two or three times, so it's quite nice to have a bit more rest. But no, it's, it's great and it's tough, but it's, I, my aim was to be involved in this camp and, and I'm glad I've made, been able to make that happen. And obviously great for the girls to get off to that winning start in Kazakhstan, so you're coming back into a, to a winning group as well, which is also good. Yeah, it's huge. Um, the, the past few campaigns we've been involved in, the start hasn't been hasn't been great so to get those those three points in a, in a tough game away to Kazakhstan you know the traveling and everything and and the way that every team in the in the world at the moment seems to be on an upward rise in women's football so they've improved since the last time we played them so to get that win you know you know from what I hear the performance wasn't perhaps what we would have hoped for but but a 1-0 clean sheet and a win is, is, is an excellent start. And a tough game in Russia, another long trip for us, but you know, going there with, with plenty of positives. Yeah, for sure. They, they had a good Euros, they've, they've got a good young team and, and they've been together for quite a while, I think. And the manager oversees, I think, also the university team, which a lot of the players play in. So they, they've got a strong team. Um, obviously had a tough loss against England in their opening game, so we're hoping that we're going to catch them you know, on a bit of a downer. But it's, as you said, it's a long trip. Thankfully, they've, they've done it this side of, of Russia rather than going all the way over, over to the other side of the world. But no, it's going, to be, it's going to be a hard game. But the way that we're going to set up and the way Jane wants the girls to play, hopefully we should, we should go over there. And you know, the minimum we're hoping for is a point, if not all three. And just finally, you've recently returned to, to Watford, which is your hometown club, yeah. as you, you said on a couple <laughs> of occasions. How's that been so far? And you must be looking forward to getting back into action with them as well. Yeah, it's been great. I've been around the team for a couple of weeks and, and joining in training. And they've had a tough start to the league so far, but we, we played in a cup game just before we came away and, and the girls got a 1-0 win over Millwall, who have been in good form. So hopefully that's the that's the positive we needed. And, and I'm hoping while, we, while, while I've been away, sorry, that... The girls have had a good couple of training sessions and I think they've got a friendly this weekend as well. So it'd be good to go back into the group and, and hopefully get some game time for them when I get back.